Hello everyone, sorry about the noise there. Uh, I actually have fixed the problem so I'm kind of reproducing it. Anyway, I received a low oil level warning and the yellow caution light came on. However, the red pressure light over there on the right did not come on. So let me tell you what I learned about the Volvo XC90. Now this one has the V8 engine but also the 3.2 engine does the uh, same thing. So let me uh, show you what I learned. So many years ago I stopped filling the engine up to the maximum level and I was looking in the XC90 manual here and it says never fill oil above the max mark. This could cause an increase in oil consumption. Well, you know, I never filled it above the max. I always went right to the line, you know, I was hardcore about that, you know, an oil filter change. I would make sure it was below the line and the next day I would top it off to the line, you know, but over time I've learned that anywhere between the min max is acceptable. So I just put in the amount and changed the filter, uh, changed the filter and then put in the amount required and, the, and that was plenty. It, brought it you know just a hair below the max line and everybody was uh, happy so I ended up receiving a message driving down the road that uh, let's see the message said oil level low and I thought what the heck I just got back from a 400 mile trip 200 miles one way times two and I know I checked the oil before I left so you know, what the heck is going on? You know, do I have an engine problem? Because, uh, you know, uh, it would have had to have leaked out. I, didn't, I don't consume that much oil. So anyway, I checked the uh, oil level. And uh, this, is, this is what I found. So let me set this up. Uh, I'm going to stage it. It looks like it's overfilled, but it's not. And that's where I found the oil. That's right. About three quarters of the way from the bottom to the max line. So I'm not even halfway in between the min max line. It's about, um, like I said, three quarters of the way down. And so I just considered that message a warning. You know, it's just plenty of time for you to add oil you know you could drive for hours days you know it's not pouring out the bottom of the car so it's just a warning that you know you've consumed some oil and and that you need to add some more now all of your oil pressure warnings are to stop immediately but your oil level warnings uh, sometimes there they have two of them uh, one is the uh, initial warning that I mentioned, and then another one is when it really gets low. However, this particular vehicle only has the uh, one warning, and all the rest are pressure warnings. So, as long as your red idiot light doesn't come on on the dash, uh, and you just get a low oil level warning, you know, you're, you're not even a quart low, because don't forget, this is a European vehicle, so they think in liters it's probably just a little bit more than a liter so then you just kinda top it off uh, put a liter in there a little less than a quart and you'll be good to go now perhaps I should uh, next time I change the oil maybe I ought to update this video and just when I dump all the oil out of it, check it because the owner manual does say that there's an oil level low warning uh, that says stop safely uh, because uh, and then there's another one that says oil level low stop engine oil level low C manual <laughs> and anyway mine only said uh, oil level low there wasn't enough room in, on the dash for it to do all this other stuff. The idiot light wasn't on so I just wasn't too concerned. I know I'd checked it 
and I was just about 10 minutes from home so I just drove home. Another point I'd like to make in this video is uh, your oil level sensor probably is working fine because that stupid thing is like $300. <laughs> so if you get an oil level warning indication and the yellow caution light comes on, uh, you know, you just need to add a quart, uh, a liter's half a quart or so, so maybe a little more than a liter, a little less than a quart, and you'll be fine. So that's kind of what I wanted to share with you. Any other warnings? Uh, pressure is completely different. That's your red idiot light. Those are different kind of warnings. Uh, it'll tell you to stop immediately. Uh, and when I change the oil, which is going to be, you know, quite a while from now, actually, sorry about that. Uh, I might just play around with it and see if I can get the other message to come on. Maybe record the messages, edit the video. If not, just uh, read your owner's manual. There are two sections in here. One section is about the warning messages and that's in the instruments and controls and then the maintenance and servicing will tell you about the oil and uh, interestingly enough I just learned that the dealer does not use synthetic oil <laughs> however if you do use synthetic oil it tells you hey you might get better gas mileage <laughs> pretty weird anyway thank you for watching